Hello, I'm Julia and things in my house have gotten a little out of control in the past few weeks. Clothes piling up, um, just little messes that I need to handle, clutter, things like that. So I have spent a few days trying to get things back in order and that's what I'm gonna show you today. We've both been sick this week and our house is like a complete disaster which stresses me out. I'm the kind of person that like feels stressed and anxious if things aren't put away. I'm still sick, but I'm feeling better today. I'm not quite as lethargic as I was, so I thought I'd try to get some stuff done. I took a shower this morning, ate a little bit of food. I have some sheets in the washing machine now. The bed is stripped, so I think I'm gonna put on another set of sheets right now. And then, um, try to do some laundry because I'm like a week and a half overdue for doing laundry. Yeah, but let me, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put on some sheets. And literally for laundry, I like don't even have any of my comfy clothes left. Like I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel. I'm wearing pajama pants that like I never wear. Um, say lovey. We got a new mattress a couple weeks ago, and I actually really like it. My sister and brother-in-law recommended the brand. I don't know, it's like a super heavy mattress. It's latex or something. And it came with these pillows. And I really like it so far. It's deeper than our old mattress. It's like super, super deep. Um, but it's comfy. I've slept, I've slept pretty well on it so far. And then several months ago, I don't even really remember when, we got new bedding, new duvet, new sheets, pillowcases. And so it just feels nice. It's like a refresh. Everything is kind of just like new. I love our bedroom. Yeah, it just felt nice to kind of like give everything a refresh. Our old mattress was 10 years old, almost. It was the first mattress that I got when I moved out after college. And it it had two divots. Like if you rolled over, you could feel in the middle where nobody lays at night. So that needed some updating. And then our sheets were like ripping. They were only maybe like four years old. Um, probably even less than that now that I think about it. But they were like tearing and we just like were in desperate need. So I made the upgrade. I got some like high, high quality stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm like pretty happy with, with all that stuff. snowing today, which is pretty. We haven't really had a lot of snow. I am definitely not a snow person. I like a couple of nice snows just because it looks pretty in the winter, but like do not want to have to go out and shovel. I don't want to have to like chisel out my car. Um, but it was nice to wake up and like see the flurries falling and there's like a little bit of white on the grassy areas, but it hasn't really stuck on the sidewalks or the roads or anything, so that's nice. Yeah, it's just kind of nice to look at. These sheets have the tags that tell you what the short side and the long side is. It's so helpful. It's so helpful. and brother-in-law got the king size and they said it came in like two packages or something and it was almost impossible for them to move. We just have the queen size and it, it was hard to get upstairs, let me just say it that way. lift up the mattress and 
throw it around and make sure that the sheets are caught underneath the bottom, but it's quite a workout doing it on this one. Maybe that's a sign that I need to work out a little bit more than I do. Okay, flat sheet. If my sheets aren't already folded, these ones we washed and just never put away. So what I do is I fold in half just to find the center point and then I line up the center point in the middle of the mattress and that helps me make sure that they are even and one side doesn't have like five inches more than the other side or something. It's not perfect though, which is fine because the sheets move around when we sleep anyway. I always grew up putting the top sheet on upside down because we would always fold over the top, like at the top, we fold it over to make like a nice little lip. So you wanna put it upside down so when you fold that part over, it's right side up. Um, I've never really seen anybody else that does that, but that's how I make the bed. That is how I was trained, and that's what I do. kind of line it up halfway. Again, like I said, it's not perfect. But it just helps keep things a little more centered. Another thing that a lot of other people don't do is, well, I always call them hospital corners. I don't know if that's what they're really called or if that's what other people call them. So once the bottom is like tucked underneath, I just kind of make like a triangle fold. So I push this part in and then pull this down. I'll show you here. This is not a great view of it, but basically uh, if the sheets, maybe I didn't put them on quite so evenly, but it just helps the sheets stay on a little bit better. Clearly, I did not do a great job at making the sheets even, but I just kind of tuck that. Oh God, yeah, that's great. Love that for me, oh yay. Anyway, uh, just gonna finish up and then throw the duvet on, the duvet cover still in the wash. Um, and do something about this hangnail. <laughs> Great. Oh, and I should have said, so this is kind of what I meant earlier. I just fold this down. So the sheet went on upside down, but then I fold that down. I mean, these could use a good ironing, but I'm not gonna do that. And so then that faces right side up. I think there's like 10 minutes left on my wash, so I'm gonna sort my laundry so that when that's done, I can throw something else in because I literally cannot go another day <laughs> without having some clean clothes. So I'm gonna do that right now. And I'm so embarrassed, okay. This is my laundry situation, and then I've got lots more stuff just on the ground and up on this shelf. I really, Never let it get this bad. But here we are, okay. Then I've also got some stuff like, sweaters I don't wash after every wear, so like I know that this one is still clean, um, but I threw it in my hamper so I wouldn't put it on my floor. So this shirt that I wore underneath it is dirty. But then I'm gonna have like a whole pile of stuff that I need to additionally fold. So I'm just gonna throw that over on this side. These are some pantyhose that I tried to wear to a wedding like a week ago and I put them on and there was a run in them. So like why did I still have them in my drawer? I don't know, those are garbage. I just got this from my parents when I was home over Christmas. It was a ski sweater that belonged to my dad that my grandma gave him, my mom's mom gave it to my dad as a gift and now now I wear it. 
All right, well, it is significantly later. Uh, my camera battery died. I started feeling kind of crummy, so I laid down. Um, I ran to the store to get just like a little bit of groceries and some more cold medicine. And yeah, I'm just kind of finishing up laundry. My fifth load is in, so I did a load of tap, no, a load of sheets, three loads of clothes, and now I have a load of towels going. Um, and honestly, that's probably all that's getting done. <laughs> I did like a tiny bit of cleaning in the bathroom and I did a little bit of vacuuming, but um, things are still kind of a mess, as you can see. This is just stuff that has to like get folded and put away. The duvet cover needs to go back on the duvet. Uh, these were the pajamas I was wearing. Obviously, I put on some real pants. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit longer than I thought to get the house back in order because I just don't feel great. There will be more at some point. Good morning. It's a few days later. I'm still a little bit sick. Um, coming on the tail end, I think. I still have laundry, a lot of it. Um, so I'm gonna try to get some of it folded. It is almost eight o'clock in the morning. I don't start work until like around nine. Normally, I like to still be in bed at this time, but I, like not slept very well the past couple of nights and I'm hoping that it's because I'm sick so that it gets better. <laughs> I had a really weird dream right before I woke up this morning. I have a lot of stress dreams that focus around taking exams that I have not studied for. This was not one of them, but it was a dream where I was taking a test where it was kind of like Jeopardy style, like you had to guess the right question kind of, but it was like there was a single right answer and somehow you were supposed to deduce it. Like you, it wasn't like testing knowledge, it was testing your ability to figure it out. I don't know. I was like, I'm awake. I don't wanna be having this dream anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna just like fold some more of this. This is all, stuff that needs to be hung. This also needs to be hung. Um, all of this, I mean, this is like socks and underwear and stuff that also needs to get folded and I've got some more fold stuff in the hamper and the laundry bin. Plus like towels and stuff, we use these as kitchen rags. So yeah, I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time folding some laundry and hopefully I can get most of it done and put away. And then that's one last thing that I have to worry about later. Yay. I more or less do like Marie Kondo style folding. Um, I just find that it's kind of the most compact, easy to access. I store things vertically whenever possible so that you can see all of your options. You don't have to like lift items to see what's underneath because that's how you end up with things that you absolutely never wear. I'm also kind of a perfectionist about the creases and the, you know, the fabric laying flat and everything, but I don't mind it. Honestly, it's not the folding that bugs me, it's the putting it away. Um, when I was in college, I used to offer my guy friends to let me fold like their t-shirts and stuff. Um, that's just the kind of person I am. There's a high likelihood of snow the next five days it's snowing this morning and then all of next week the high is gonna be like below 20 degrees Fahrenheit <clears throat> so I guess winter really has finally arrived I was pretty happy about how mild it was but it's only 
late January right now, and winter in Chicago lasts sometimes into April, so we're kind of just starting out the cold, bad, bleak months. The good thing is, since December, the daylight has been increasing, so we're over that hurdle. Here's a fun fact. If you wear your clothes before they get folded and put away, you don't have to put them away. Nothing like a pair of fuzzy socks to keep you warm in the winter. I'm gonna make the bed and then try to get some of this laundry put away. I'm probably not gonna get all of it done, but we'll do a little bit. This is everything that has to get put away. Shirts, sports bras, socks, underwear, uh, some pants, and then that's all my hanging stuff. All right, that's all put away. Um, I'm gonna get to work. The bedroom is almost put back together. Let me show you. So I just have a few more things over here that need to be just like folded, put away. These are my pajamas that I'm wearing. Um, but other than that, this feels nice and calm. Okay, it's lunchtime-ish. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from work and see if I can just like get the last of this stuff kind of folded, tidied, put away, whatever the last remaining pieces are in my room. And then the bedroom will be done, hooray. And by the way, I changed from this morning because I have a couple of external calls today that I thought I should look a little bit more professional than just wearing my Pawnee Indiana sweatshirt. So same day, different clothes. But only on the top up because you can't see me on a Zoom. So really it's just this pile. There's some sweaters, there's some pants. I see my overalls and then just something that needs to get hung in the closet. So... I'm gonna work on this, be right back. That took me literally like four minutes to get all that stuff put away. So the only thing left here still, uh, these are a couple of sweaters that I hand knit and they just need to be hand washed. So I'm leaving them out so that I see them and remember to do it, but I did fold them nicely instead of throwing them in, in my hamper because then I don't see them, just, they sit at the bottom, and then the next time I do laundry, I'm like, oh my god, I have to hand wash my sweaters, and then I don't do it. So that's all that's left. I mean, the room is not in perfect condition. All of my clothes are put away now. Uh, my husband still has to do his own, but that's something that he can do on his own schedule. Um, so yeah, I feel really good. Things feel nice and clean and in order, and I can start thinking about getting the rest of the house in order too. Thanks so much for watching. Um, feel free to leave a comment, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.